Hey guys, it's Tony Tom Logan back with another video for you. And uh, because all I've got to go by at the moment is what's in the camera screen, <laughs> if the case is a little bit too dark, then it's because my t shirt's so bright and my camera's going. <laughs> anyway, CKC, Cooler Master, Coolant's Cosmos, back with another kind of segment instalment. Because I'm trying to do this in uh, different stages so I can explain to you where my head's at. We've got the Cosmos here, first chance of seeing in the case, but we've obviously got the, uh, I've whizzed the doors off. Now, for this kind of portion, what we've got is the radiators, which we need to uh, work out what we're doing with them in the bottom. So we've got two of the 240 radiators for the bottom. Then we've got the 360 radiator for the roof. And then we've got the drive bay uh, reservoir that we need to, well we know where it's going to be going and then the pump now I'm using a D5 for this one because I've uh, not used a D5 in a build for donkey jonks um, definitely I've not actually done a D5 build on YouTube at all so this is popping my D5 cherry um, so right basically what I'm going to do is uh, bring the camera in and we'll have a look at the, the bottom of the case initially and work out what's going on. I will try and make the lights as good as I can, but at the end of the day, the uh, the case is black, the radiators are black, and although I've got stupendously bright lights, sometimes they just don't play nice, so I'll try my best. Anyway, I'm going to uh, move the camera and uh, we'll try and get this sorted. Alrighty then. Okie dokie. Um, first things first, bottom of the case, uh, I'm not going to be using this panel at all. So we can actually remove this and we won't be using this. Obviously, we want to put our uh, radiators down here so we can take the drive bay cages out as well. Now, Cooler Master then tell you to take this um, lower section out so that you can fit the dual radiator bracket at the back. But, I'm going to show you something. Especially with these radiators, they slide in and they're like very, do you know what I mean? They're so close, it's unreal. But because of at the front of the case here, where the uh, guides are, there's a little recess. And basically, that recess is just enough to stop the radiators. Now, I am going to fix the radiators in the bottom with some like double sided foam tape. But if you have a look, that is like so close, it's unreal. Now towards the back, it's a little bit more of a problem, but we can put that in and I'll show you what the problem is at the back. I'm gonna spin this round. You have to ignore the cables on the back. Now, if we open all this up, it is stupendously, stupendously tight at the back for, um, the fans and there's also these little tabs so we've got a couple of options now options are take the bottom tray out and take these tabs off quickly if we take the tabs off then we're not going to be able to use them um, for the hard drive cages again which for this you know instance isn't really going to be too much of a problem but the main issue is this front clamp because the front clamp is it's a support at the end of the day uh, but it's going to stop us being able to screw the uh, the fan in. Um, so we've got two options. We can either put the fans on the other side and have them blowing through, or we can do all of this machining and um, oh, machining. We can do all this cutting and altering of the case, uh, so we can put them on this side. But basically, what I'm thinking is if we put them on the other side they're going to be um, out the way because obviously if we have these here we, we could have cables come down and if it end up going in the fans and things like that so long term we're going to put them on the other side so what we will end up having is two sets of fans both in a push configuration so they will go there with the fans in there blowing out the other side this one will go in and we'll have the fans here, as close as I can get to the door as possible, with the fans blowing in as well. So that'll be sucking in the, uh, the vents in the side of the case, as it would have been with a cross flow. 
section with the um, hard drives, but go through one radiator and then out the other radiator. Also, another thing is maybe now that I've got these rads in, you can understand why I got the radiator fittings with the bits on the ends, because that will make things much easier for me when they're in there to um, put them from radiator to radiator. We can have much smaller loops. Um, and it also it will make uh, curves easier to go back up and out here because I'll just be able to have a right angled fit in and it'll be able to come out. Now originally I did want to try and put the, the um, pump in the bottom. Now I've obviously got the special um, uh, pump front for this and everything but we'll use this as a mock up. It actually doesn't fit between these two radiators at all here. Um, it doesn't go in and I know I'm not using a, a massive um, power supply, but there's, I don't really want to have it kind of, you know, all squeezed up in there with cables and stuff. I mean, it would be a possibility, but then it will ruin uh, being able to have the hose and ear done quite nicely and leaving the gap between the radiators quite open. So what I think I'm going to end up doing is either removing the... Um, uh, hot swap bays if I can get another front I've got a couple of uh, friends in the industry that I might be able to oh sorry I need to move this up so you can see I might end up changing taking the hot swap bays out and end up putting the pump in there one way or another or we may end up putting it down the bottom I really don't know yet I'm not a massive fan of having pumps out on view to be honest with you but we'll see what happens it is, one way or another it's either going to go here with the top on it um, or up there so we'll see now the front of the case if I spin this round I might even have to move the camera back again but let's have a go dun, 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 dun. no we'll be all right whiz this out I really like this reservoir in here and I went for a um, a single one because I didn't want it too intrusive and obviously you can cover the front up anyway so you won't see much of it but I just, like I said, I just wanted the outside to be kept quite simple because I'm not doing any external mods to the case at all. I know a lot of you have asked for, you know, put a bay window in it and stuff like that, but it's, it's just a build. I'm just doing this as a way to showcase some of the parts. I've not got time to spend, you know, doing loads and loads to it. It's just a simple, what I would call a showcase build. And by that I mean it's to showcase the products, not to build a showcase. Um, so that is roughly so that is roughly where I'm at. I'm really liking the way that the uh, the radiator should work out in the bottom. Um, and like I said, we've had to do minimal work. You've got that nice kind of lock there, so it can't slide too far forward. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have them because it it almost lines up when you push them right in. The radiator almost lines up right to the end of the um, original hard drive. So those 220 millimeter fans are going to be right over the vent, so that's going to be perfect. So that's what I think I'm going to do. I'm going to put it in there, and there's, to be honest with you, it's not even a lot of room for me to be able to lift this up and even put any um, foam tape in there. So I may have to just kind of like try and get some sneaky stuff in, or I really don't know, because <laughs> like I said, it is so tight. There's another recess just above here. That's what it is. Yeah, there's just no room in there. Um, so how I'm actually going to fix them down, I don't know. That's going to be a mission in itself. But anyway, this is the way it's going to go. And I think this could work out all quite nicely. Um, also, by having these fans down here, it's going to be... Um, uh, the grey ones will be kept out of the way. But we do have to think about the ones in the roof. So what I need to do again is um, get the get the camera moved. I'm going to lay the case over so that we can look in better. Uh, there's also a fan in the roof here at the moment. I'm just about to take this out while we're off camera, and then we'll come back and have a look at the uh, radiator in the roof. Right then, peeps, onto the top radiator. Now, what we need to remember is we don't want to go past these um, motherboard standoffs. So what I've got is this radiator, um, which, just because I want to do it, uh, let's 
miles away. This radiator is 30 millimeters thick. So 30 millimeters plus the fans at 25 millimeters should mean that we've got enough room. So we will have to see. I reckon we should be able to just get away with it. So if we stick a set, we stick a fan in. It's going to be mighty, mighty close. Um, there are some tabs that during the review, just up here, I didn't notice that I may have to push round. In fact, I'm going to do it quickly now because I'm moving quite easily. Please. Fan. Yeah, so there were some tabs at the end. So we get the radiator in. And then I've got two options. It's either have the fan below like that, or I can put the fans outside and have them pulling through. Now I really don't know yet, obviously I could even better still go for a set of fans on the inside and a set of fans on the outside for push pull because the um uh we've got enough room and obviously you can put fans outside but i really don't know yet because these fan cables are quite short so at the moment what i'm thinking is having the radiator screwed in and then having the fans blowing through it um, we'll also give a little bit more active cooling to parts around the board, but it's not really going to make too much of an issue. Um, so that's what I'm thinking for the uh, the roof rad. There is a coolant logo around here somewhere, but it's just it's only on one side and it's the wrong way up. Um, so we're going to end up with a blank side on here. But anyway, so that's what I'm thinking is having the radiator right at the top. <coughs> And then as long as I've got room, uh, once I've started to put, um, so I need to check once I've put other parts in here to make sure that there is 110% enough room, I should be okay. But one of the things about saying I should be okay is there's always a chance that you're not. Um, but we won't know until we get it in there. Obviously the rampage has got a heat sink right at the top of the motherboard as well. So I need to get things in there and start test fitting them. So we'll see. Um, but I've got high hopes. I'm hoping this is going to be all right. Obviously the bottom we're sorted. Uh, I need to wait and see whether um, I've got a uh, uh, cover sorted. As long as I can get a cover sorted, I'll whiz that out. We may end up with a pump, pump in there to make things a little bit more tidier. Um, and then we'll, we will have to see. But this is where I am with it at the moment. The next time that we have uh, a video, we're going to have the uh, Rampage in here. I'll also mock up one of the graphics cards in here as well. Um, and you may even finally see the coolant CPU block on and it'll be a case of us trying to work out where bits are going to go, whether the fans do fit, all that kind of thing. Um, but yes, this is we're going to leave it here for now because I want to have this as like, like a video build log. I don't want to give you too much at once. I like to keep the suspension running. Suspension. <laughs> Tell I'm thinking my bike. Suspense. <coughs> So yes, this is uh, now time for me to bow out and say I'll love you and leave you. But this is uh, Tiny Tom Logan with another video for you. Out. <laughs>